So my full name is Lauren J. Carter. I'm a Cairns-based printmaker. I've lived in uh, far north Queensland for about four, five years now. I was um, originally on Magnetic Island and then moved to Townsville and currently living in Cairns printmaking. Uh, I got into visual arts quite early. My family always encouraged me uh, you know, to go to art camp, after school classes. They took me to, you know, all the major exhibitions that were on. Not because I think they wanted me to grow up and be a famous artist, but I think they just loved, not that I am, <laughs> but, but they could just see that I really loved making art and being creative. So study-wise, I, when I left school, I did a design diploma in Sydney. I studied jewellery and object design. So I've got a bit of a design background. And then later on, uh, when I moved from Sydney to Melbourne, I studied printmaking. So I did a fine arts degree at RMIT in Melbourne. And after that, um, I had a scholarship at the Australian Print Workshop, where I spent a year making work there, which was really amazing. So I chose Yonder as the name, uh, mostly because I was continuing my work with landscapes. So I've done a lot of prints that didn't start out as landscapes but ended up as landscapes. Um, I don't usually plan the end of a print at the start. I sort of print a whole bunch of material and then look at it at the end and see what goes together. So uh, once I'd constructed these landscapes, um, I guess Yonder just fed into my ideas on um, perceiving things that you can't necessarily see or your ideas or your curiosity on places that are far away or yeah, your, how your uh, expectations meet reality or not. <laughs> so Yonder seemed to be fitting because it's, it's somewhere you can't reach basically, you can only imagine. Uh, in this exhibition my favourite piece or probably um, group of pieces would be the ones behind me. They're, they're probably more subtle than the other works. The colours are a bit more muted, but that's the palette that I prefer. I, um, sometimes I worry that my prints are too subtle and people can't see anything, <laughs> but personally I like the subtle ones. The way that I work, I start by taking photographs, so usually just on my iPhones, mostly natural textures, uh, rocks, tree bark, um, concrete, uh, just things that I look at and think, oh, it would be interesting to try and replicate that pattern or that texture uh, in printmaking. So then I print my photos out. I usually trace some of the lines um, and then I transfer the lines to a lino block. It's quite a long <laughs> process. Um, and then, yeah, I, I usually combine a few different techniques. So I use etched lino and carved lino and I just print a really large amount of material in different colours and then I see how it all fits together at the end. Putting it all together, I use a lot of stencils and templates so I sort of create, because my work's abstract, I, I do just start with shapes and then I overlay those transparencies and see what looks good together or what might flow on to the next, the next object. So. Yeah, a lot of overlay and transparency and cutting and pasting and recutting and more pasting. <laughs> it's a very long, long process. So at the moment I have a home studio which I've just set up after my move to Cairns. Uh, so I've got an etching press and a lot of space to do a lot of printing down there. Prior to that, prior to my studio in Cairns, um, I had a studio at Murky Waters, uh, which is in Townsville. That place, that's still operating as an artist run initiative. So I started that with a few other local artists, um, which was really exciting. So that it's along the river, it was a really great place to, to make artwork and have shows. <laughs> I have a new-ish piece of equipment, which is a really large spindle roller. It's basically a, a large, uh, imagine like a steamroller with handles, but a mini one, and then you roll ink onto it, and then that ink is transferred from the roller to the block or the lino that you're printing from. So without the roller, you can't do any work, basically. So that's my favourite piece of equipment. The best piece of uh, artistic advice I've been given would have been back in uni at RMIT. Um, 
I know I used to stress a lot about not knowing what kind of work I was going to make or not knowing what I wanted to do. Um, and I had a lecturer that explained to me that, uh, you know, your creative response is unique to you. So whatever you are making, it, it will have your signature on it because it's come from you, basically. And I've definitely found that to be true um, looking at older work that I've done, even if it's a different style or different medium, uh, I can sort of see that it's got my, you know, my stamp on it <laughs> somehow. So that's what I would say. So my advice for emerging artists uh, would mostly be just to uh, attend workshops, attend uh, conferences, go and work in a studio with other practicing artists. Um, Printmaking is very technical, so any tips or any hints you can get off people that have gone before you and figured out they've problem solved something that you could spend hours or weeks trying to figure out. I know I've done that myself and someone's just come, come along and said, I'll oh, try that, try that material. And then it saved a lot of time. So yeah, just talk to other artists. They're very helpful. <laughs> uh, challenges when presenting my artwork to the public, it's probably trying to get them to understand the medium. The installation that I've done beyond yonder, uh, it's the large sprawling landscape uh, at the front of the exhibition. Um, basically, that's a new thing for me. I haven't done a large installation that big, but it was um, it's made up of all of my different print material. It's uh, different shapes, different cutouts, um, something that I had to make as I went along. I didn't really know how it was all going to fit together or how it was going to look. Um, it's quite long, it's about five metres long, but it was, a, it was a really good challenge and yeah, I'm happy with the results. Uh, exhibiting at the Perth Tucker Regional Gallery has been a really great experience for me. I've only exhibited here in group shows previously. Um, there's a great team here, it's been a really positive experience and a challenge for me to you know, put together a, to fill a space this big. So I would encourage anyone who's scared of having a solo show <laughs> to just to just go ahead and do it because everyone's very helpful and it's it's worthwhile. It's worth the, the effort and the anxiety. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. <laughs>